far and away the high point of Tuesday's State of the Union, that powerful ovation for Sergeant Corey Remsburg, so badly injured on his 10th tour in Afghanistan. And after 10 years of war, he is just one in a generation of young men and women who refuse to be defined by their sacrifice. Here's Martha Raddus with those stories and their lessons for us. In this divisive political arena, a moment of purity. Sergeant First Class Corey Ramsberg never gives up and he does not quit. The young Army Rangers' incredible will and unbreakable spirit, like so many other veterans I have met, who never give up. There is Lieutenant Colonel Tim Karcher. It's like everything in Iraq, it changes. Weeks after we were with him on this patrol in Iraq, he lost both legs and nearly his life. At one point I had told him it was okay. If he needed to, to let go, I could do it. Today, he is standing tall on prosthetic legs and still working hard in the Army. And Lieutenant Mark Little, who I was with minutes after he lost his legs, incredibly in good humor, joking with doctors. He too got prosthetic legs. He married his true love and is now raising money for wounded warriors. It's just the way I am. It's easier to smile than cry. And you don't accomplish anything by complaining. Mark, Tim, Corey and their families are all a reminder of those who are good and strong and courageous in our country. We love heroes and we love homecomings, like the one you will see tonight during the Super Bowl. Welcome home, Chuck. This is all for you. Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> this will be the year of so many reunions as our longest war, Afghanistan, comes to an end. A new focus for our country, taking care of our returning veterans and those already here. How does it feel to be home, Corey? Unbelievable. <laughs> Even when the parades, the speeches are over, that is when we should really remember. For this week, Martha Raddatz, ABC News, Washington. So we must. And now some welcome news from Afghanistan. The Pentagon did not announce any deaths of any service members overseas this week. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.